So, he completed uh, what is uh, 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 we completed what is uh, protein right and its structures those we have completed. We also said if you remember that uh, amino acids are the building block of protein and protein is the building block of your body muscles right. So, we said protein. So, let us also look quickly amino acids. What is that? Right. So, today in our this class dairy and food uh, process and products technology lecture number 27, we go to amino acids. Now, in that protein, you might have heard different things like peptides right peptides peptide bonds right so let us also have a light or mild recapitulation or maybe brushing up of your knowledge that uh, what peptides are what are then proteins are and what the peptide bonds are, because these are some basic things which normally students do make mistakes and uh, for understanding as much as you recapitulate or you, you brush it up, it becomes more permanently stable in your mind. right? So, let us look into that what is peptide. Peptides are short chains amino acids. Peptides are short chain amino acid right and this is amino acid monomer. I hope monomer, dimer, polymer we understand. Monomer is the basic unit which cannot be further broken, can be broken, but not normally that is the if we, if we break a protein, we will come to that monomer not beyond that. Then it is no longer a altogether different compound. So, we can come up to the monomer which polymerizes depending on how many of them are. If it is two, then we call dimer. If it is more than two, then we call it to be polymer. right? So, that is how polymerization I gave the example of ethylene and then your polyethylene that which we get uh, every now and days uh, uh, nowadays every day you get to the from the market some poly bags polyethylene right made of polymers of ethylene right like teflon that is also a polymer, but uh, double bond ethene right and uh, tet tetrafluoroethene for that is uh, um, teflon. However, those are beyond our scope at the moment. So, peptides are short chains of amino acid monomers linked by peptide chain. Now, peptide chain is also called amide chain right? or amide bonds, peptide bonds or amide bonds. Now, how the bonding is done? The covalent chemical bonds are formed when the carboxyl group of one amino acid reacts with the amino group of another. Right? So, uh, amino group we know this is the amino group NH2 and carboxylic group we know this is the carboxylic group. So, this carboxylic group of one amino acid and the amino group of another amino acid when they are forming a bond then and this bond is a covalent bond that bond is called peptide bond or we also called amide bond peptide bonds generally peptidic bond or peptide bonds are said right then it comes what is the difference between a peptide and amino acids. It is like that, that 
you are made of many cells. So what is the difference between you and the cell? Yes, cell is very small and you are the agglomeration or aggregation of those cells like that. The first difference is that the uh, that the proteins are made of only 20 different amino acids while peptides can be made of this 20 protein amino acids and of other naturally avail available amino acids. So, proteins are made of 20 different amino acids whereas, peptides can be more than that right. So, proteins are those which are made of 20 amino acids whereas, peptides can be many of them more those 20 plus some naturally available some other amino acids. Another basic difference is that another basic difference is that the size of the chain that is the number of amino acids that a protein or a peptide contains right. Normally, if it is made of peptide is made of out of these 20 amino acids right then that peptide is a monomer of the protein. So, polymer of those peptides form the proteins. So, it is number of amino acids which are present that size is also a basic difference between the peptide and protein. So, peptides are smaller proteins are much bigger molecules basically right and both are made of amino acids, but when the chains are small chain lengths are small then we call it to be peptide. When the chain lengths are big um, uh, polymers or uh, dimer or uh, dimer or polymer of this uh, amino acid uh, peptide we call that to be protein right. Now, then it comes that the peptide just refers to two or more amino acids linking together. Two or more amino acids linking together. So, a dipeptide contain, consists of two amino acids linking together, whereas a polypeptide is more than two amino acids linking together right. This is n this is n right make the correction. So, more than two amino acids linking together is a polypeptide. Then long strings or chains the one of the best example of giving this is that. Uh, you, you, you know uh, girls or ladies they wear these chains right and they, are, they can be made of uh, pearl these that 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 uh, beads. So, assume that each bead is a amino acid and those beads are linked through the thread in this case this is the link through the chain right. So, bond this is linked to through the bond. So, that linking makes it a complete or whole of the M protein. So, this is one of the good examples that the, the, the garland or necklace or whatever the, uh, those uh, girls or women nowadays people men also do wear. Eh? So, they are of course, they do not wear men's only we I as far as I have seen only chains of uh, gold, but uh, girls do wear many many types like maybe made of many many uh, beads uh, as I referred pearl this that that I am not conversant so many. However, so those beads if we assume them to be individual amino acids then these amino acids are like the beads are linked through a thread and it becomes the complete 
uh, garland flower garland is also like each flower like that weeds or like that amino acid so they are linked through the thread and here it is linked through the peptidic bonds right so long strands of chains of thousands of of th long strands uh, strings or chains of thousands of the 20 amino acids that form proteins linking together from the proteins that exist in the body right these chains generally consist of uh, repeated sequences of specific amino acids right these amino acids are like that repeated sequence depending on what when we come to the amino acids typically that time we will see there are how many and in what way they are different right so it is the side groups which make each amino acid different from the others so because each amino acid will have one cooh group and one central carbon or called alpha carbon and we will have one uh, um, amino group right so this one amino group and you will have one this r that is the this makes the difference that this is called the side chain group right and uh, this can be uh, Okay, at the moment this is this may be joined or may not be joined depending on that. So, these three are the units for the amino acid. This R can be the side chain group and uh, based on that the difference in the amino acids occur. Right? So, if then if we look at a protein is a chain of amino acids a protein is a chain of amino acids connected together a chain of amino acids connected together so you can think of like a braid uh, just like i said that uh, beaded necklace the beads which are just like amino acids are connected together by a string that is the bond this string is nothing but the bond right peptidic bond which forms a long chain protein therefore a protein is intact or whole like the beads which we are saying like this right so they are forming the entire chain this is the complete or whole protein right so, like the beads, these are connected through the thread, in this case through the bond, and these bonds are that bond can be any type, different will come afterwards, right. So, these long chains are forming the proteins, right. Now, amino acids are the basic building blocks of enzymes hormones proteins and body tissues of our system right so it is the basic building block of enzyme because we know all enzymes are a kind of proteins right all enzymes are a kind of proteins hormones they are also proteins then proteins itself and the body cells or tissues so they are all composed of amino acids so amino acids has a great function in the body right fortunately or unfortunately you will see some of which our body can synthesize and some of which our body cannot synthesize right and that makes the difference between essential and non essential amino acid so so uh, this is when uh, i said earlier also 
with respect to with respect to fat also that essential yes the term essential this essential is essential means essential by the body essential by the body system be it fat be it protein right be it fat be it protein body cannot synthesize body our body system as i referred earlier also if you go through biochemistry leninger you get more 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 detailed things into that that uh, if our body system cannot synthesize that particular thing is called essential like essential fat or essential amino acid or uh, yeah essential amino acids and uh, this and in that case essential carboxylic acids uh, which we said fatty acids right essential fatty acids okay now so a peptide is a compound a peptide is a compound consisting of two or more amino acids consisting of two or more amino acids that is a peptide whereas polypeptides and proteins are consisting of 10 or more amino acids right so peptide is small proteins or polypeptides are bigger in size so that is the basic fundamental difference between a peptide and the protein both are made of amino acid building block is same amino acid but one in size wise very small and other that function is also quite little different right because peptide may have some um, side effects somebody may have some itching or this that that so those are uh, beyond our, our our purview right peptides consisting of but peptides consisting of more than 50 amino acids are classified as proteins right peptides consisting of more than 50 amino acids are called proteins right now let us look into Ne the difference between nucleic acid the uh, uh, earlier day uh, uh, earlier classes we discussed about this when we were talking about proteins right so there we have seen the nucleic acid right you remember nucleic acid also had one five membered carbohydrate or sugar right one five membered carbohydrate or sugar it had one amino group or one phosphate group right these three or nitrogenous group and one phosphate phosphate group these three were the building block of the nucleic acid right if you remember out of this if the if the carbohydrate is ribose then we call it to be ribonucleic acid or rna and if the um, carbohydrate or sugar is made of uh, deoxy ribose then we call it to be deoxy ribonucleic acid or dna right so what is the difference between that and the amino acid because amino acid also we have seen there are three such building blocks in amino acid one is amino group another is carboxylic acid group and third one is the r that is the uh, that is the functional group i should say like like it could be it could be any any type of r as you think of depending on that r it is it is different amino acid which is coming in because other two remain same carboxylic acid and amino group they are identical for all the amino acids but this r varies right 
though if that could be alkyl uh, many many will come into that ok. So, nucleic acid nucleic acid or RNA or DNA are made up of a series of nucleotides right. We said that nucleotide is the unique or uh, unit or building block of the nucleic acid right. So, the center of an amino acid is the carbon bo bonded to four different groups. The fourth group is the R right and this R is different for different amino acids right and nucleotide is also composed of 5 carbon sugar uh, nitrogenous base and a phosphate group right. So, both are you see similarity, but functional group wise they are different. So, one contains carboxylic acid group right whereas, another contains and uh, carboxylic acid group then your uh, amino group and this R or that uh, alkyl group or, or similar like that this is the amino acid whereas, there it is a sugar group and a nitrogenous group and a phosphate group right. Functional groups are then different, but the similarity in unit building is there right. So, all amino acids have the alpha carbon bonded to a hydrogen atom right all amino acids have the alpha carbon bonded to a hydrogen atom. So, which you are saying that C this was C O O H and this was N H 2 and this was your R and this the fourth one is all the time associated with hydrogen right. And then to hydrogen and 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 uh, carboxyl group and amino group right. The R which we are referring to group varies among amino acids and determines the difference between these protein monomers. So, these we are called calling protein monomer right because from that monomer dimer or polymers are being made. So, that is the basic unit amino acid right. So, the genetic the genetic code is the sequence of nucleotide based in nucleic acids or DNA and RNA that code for amino acids right. So, they also do have like in in amino acids in in in, in nucleic acids this uh, DNA RNA they do have some genetic code here also in amino acids they do have some code. So, this coding will be there also a similarity right, but the codings are altogether different right. So, then we come that there are 20 amino acids and these 20 amino acids are there in our body systems right. Body proteins do have these 20 amino acids out of which 9 are essentials. Earlier it was in our time you used to hear that 8 was uh, the essential amino acids but with time different things are getting uh, invented and uh, yeah at the moment it is said to be 9. 9 essential amino acids are there right and these 9 amino acids must be there in our diet right because our body when it is doing some exercise of building the protein that time if these amino acids are not being built by the body 
are produced by the body, then then that protein that typical uh, protein cannot be synthesized, cannot be built. So, you lack of those things. So, that is why that in your diet it has to be supplemented such that our body can get those amino acids and can make it very easily. right? So, the proteins can be built. Now, these 20 amino acids are there in our body out of which out of which 9 are essential and we get these 9 in our diet right? because our cells cannot manufacture them and these 9 are histidine, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, threonine, tryptophan and valine and you will see all of them do have different namings. right? All of them do have different code, so that you can identify them. Right, like lysine, though it begins with L, but it has a code of K, A to Z. There are 20, our alphabets are 26, so 6 can be omitted. So, like that, O is one omitted, like that, L, because L is another leucine, right. So, already there, so that is why. Lysine is not given that code, it is K. Like that, they are different. So, we, we finish this class with repetition that the basic amino acids which our body cannot synthesize are called essential amino acids, and they are histidine, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine and phenylalanine, threonine, tryptophan and valine. Right? These are our basic essential amino acids. Right? So, time is up. Thank you.